Hi, and welcome to AXA Investment Managers Web TV. We're today with Marion Le Moradec, uh, Inflation Link Bomb Manager at AXA Investment Managers. And we will discuss inflation and AXA Investment Managers offer. Uh, welcome, uh, Marion. Hello, Julien. Uh, Marion, uh, first off, just a quick reminder. Could you remind us uh, what are inflation link bonds and uh, if there is any feature or advantage uh, when investing in this kind of product? Well, first of all, I think it's important to, to have in mind that inflation link bonds are really, have really become an asset class of its own. And uh, first, I would say that, of course, it's a natural hedge against inflation. Secondly, it's a performing asset class, and we will see later with the performance numbers. And then thirdly, it's very important in terms of diversification of, of, of a portfolio. Okay, well, uh, you said that's a natural hedge against inflation. Uh, there have been inflationary fears over the last months, even over the last year. Uh, so where do we stand with, re with respect to inflation as we speak? Uh, well, I would say that now we're in a, in a context of an economic recovery, uh, which means that we could have inflationary pressures again. And it's uh, exactly what we see with uh, commodities prices going up again. And uh, actually with uh, all the quantitative easing measures and the central bank decisions, that could lead to more inflation in the near future. Um, on, on the longer term, I would see that we will have more demographic pressures. We will ha also have uh, still uh, pressures on the commodities front, which mean that it's very important to think uh, about uh, having some inflation, inflation in bonds uh, in a portfolio. Okay, so you're saying that inflation should be on the top of the mind of investors. Uh, now, my understanding is that investors have been uh, targeting this kind of asset to get a hedge if they're worried about inflation. So how do uh, those assets have performed over the last year and is it still time to invest in inflation-linked bonds? Well, the inflation-linked bonds have performed particularly well over 2009 with a return of 8.25% uh, of glob the Global Inflation Fund and 6.59% for the Euro Inflation Bonds Fund. Um, I would say that we still have some good performance ahead. We have seen negative inflation prints over the past months, year-on-year -year prints, and uh, as early as November 2009, we will see positive prints again. And I think this will be very important in, term, in terms of psychological effects on the investors. So I would expect the asset class to, to, to uh, go on performing. Okay, the asset class while well, going on, good performance. You say good performances ahead. Uh, how do you generate this kind of performance? Can you tell me two, uh, two uh, let's say, strategies you implement to, to get more performance out of this asset class? Well, I would say that on the Global Inflation Fund, we are, uh, ver we are monitoring very closely the country allocation. And currently, we do like a lot, and we do overweight in the portfolio, uh, the US uh, tips over the rest of, of the universe. And uh, on the Euro Inflation Fund, I think that we are cautiously monitoring the, the duration currently, as well as the, the curve positioning of the fund. Okay, you monitor duration, so it means that uh, inflation is not the only driver of performance for inflation-linked bonds. All the strategies more or less refer to inflation, but of course we would have a look at duration, so that's a typical fixed income strategy, duration, curve, but then um, country allocation and break-even strategies as a whole are, are very important. Okay, great. And now you, you manage two funds, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, the AXA WF Global uh, Inflation Fund, and the other one is the Euro Inflation Fund. Uh, is there two uh, elements standing out uh, for these two funds that you would like to, uh, to highlight? Well, I think the, the Euro Inflation Fund uh, will be the, the preferred instrument for investors who have liability in the European inflation universe. And I would recommend the Global Inflation Fund for investors who would like to diversify their, their portfolios. Uh, but I would mention as well that the, the two funds are ranked in the first quartile of their universe on a one-year horizon, three-year horizon, and even five-year horizon for the Euro Inflation Fund. So uh, there, we are very uh, consistent in our investment process to, in order to have repeatable outperformance against the benchmark. And um, just uh, as, a, as a proof of confidence, well, we've seen some, some inflows of around 500 million euros so far on the Global Inflation Fund since oh. the beginning of the year. 
So Marion, I think we can conclude from that uh, that inflation is certainly one of the main driver of uh, inflation-linked bond fund, but that's not the only one. Well, uh, thank you, Marion. Thank you, Julien. Well, thank you very much for attending this Web TV and see you next time. <laughs> <laughs>